Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, Halloween is just out of corner. So today I'm bringing to you the Halloween special and I'm talking about the pumpkin risotto. Now, I must be honest, I just tried this type of risotto and it's so, so delicious. At first, you know, I was thinking, you know, pumpkin is sweet and, you know, risotto is a little bit on the salty side. So I wasn't so sure if I was going to like, you know, that sweet and salt but guys if you try this you are going to love it without wasting much time let's just get started so first you are going to need some vegetable broth and i have here my broth powder i'll get a pan and come in with about one tablespoon full of the broth powder then i'll come in with some water i'll be using about a liter i'll give it a little mix then i'll set it aside for later So obviously you are going to need some pumpkin and I have here my pumpkin. This is about 260 grams. So first of all, I'll clean up my pumpkin. I'll get rid of the seeds inside. Then I'll peel it. So after peeling, this is what I have here. With the help of a grater, I'll just grate it up. And after grating everything, this is what we have here. So I'll get my pan and my broth and put them side to side on the stove. The broth will be on low fire whilst the risotto pan will be on medium fire. I'll come in with a little bit of oil. I'll cover up the broth to prevent evaporation. Now my oil is hot so I'll come in with some chopped onions. I'll let it fry for about a minute. Then I'll come in with my grated pumpkin. I'll let this fry for about 2-3 to three minutes. This will help soften it up and prevent flakes of pumpkin in your mouth whilst eating this. Next, I'll come in with about a cup of my risotto rice and I'm going to fry this for about 3 more minutes. I'll drop in about 30 grams of butter. After 3 minutes, I will come in with some white wine and cover it up immediately. This will help trap in the flavor of the wine. After a minute, I will give it a little mix. Now it's time to come in with the vegetable soup. I will be using one ladle at a time. I will cover it up and let it cook for about 3 to 5 minutes. So basically this is what I'm going to do till the rice is ready. This is going to take about 30 minutes to cook. Whenever I realize the liquid has evaporated, I will come in with a little of soup. So it's been about 30 minutes and as you can see, it's so well cooked now. I'll grate in some parmesan, then give it a final mix. I'll just put off the fire and allow it to cool down a little bit. So ladies and gentlemen, our Halloween pumpkin risotto is ready. I must say you don't have to overuse the pumpkin, you have to use just enough or else it's going to be too sweet. I really encourage you to give this a try. Pumpkins are very affordable and you can take this chance to make yourself some great meal. If you do try this, let me know how it comes out for you. You can send me pictures if you want and I'll post them on this channel. And if you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.